Hey, Physique Freaks, how's it going? Scott Tuzana, MetabolicMasterpiece.com. I am nearing the end of this cutting phase. Two weeks left. I'm gonna finish strong, but can't help but find myself looking ahead, thinking forward, not just to the next four week workout plan, not just the next muscle building phase, but to the next 12 months as a whole. I mentioned recently that I have a goal of gaining two pounds of lean muscle tissue in the next year. And that may not seem like a lot to some people, but at 40 years old with 25 plus years of training experience under my belt and some of the world's crappiest genetics, that's both a realistic goal and an ambitious goal. And one thing I'm really excited to achieve because on my five foot, six and a half inch frame, two and a half pounds of lean muscle tissue is gonna make a dramatic visual difference. So I wanna make sure that I'm doing everything in my power to achieve that goal. So what I've been doing during the past couple of days is building a system to ensure my success. And I thought I'd take a moment to share that system with you. Now this cutting phase is gonna end on September 1st and September 2nd, I'm gonna enter into a um, maintenance kind of adaptive phase, basically eating at maintenance level calories and allowing my body to sensitize to that or to adapt to that and take into account uh, the initial weight gain that usually comes from the extra food volume in your digestive system, water weight and muscle glycogen. On September 12th, I'm going to enter into a 16 week muscle building phase. The goal during that phase is to gain 0.25 pounds per week, one pound per month. So that's going to allow me to be in a slight surplus, which is necessary to build muscle mass. I know you can only need adequate amount of calories. You could probably gain muscle around maintenance level calories, but I wanna ensure that I am building muscle, so I will be in a slight surplus. There will be some fat gain, but keeping it to 0.25 pounds per week of weight gain, uh, only a small percentage of that should come from fat. So that's going to end on January 1st, January 2nd, I get to join the rush, the New Year's rush and enter into a six week fat loss phase. The goal during that fat loss phase is just to burn off any of the extra fat that I gained during the muscle building phase. Really, I should be able to achieve that goal in four weeks because I'm keeping my fat gain to a minimum during the muscle building phase. Uh, but I wanted to allow myself a little extra cushion there, a little extra two week cushion just in case we have any vacations that come up, uh, any events that come up, just to take those into, into consideration there. After that, I will enter into another one week maintenance phase, again, adapting to that maintenance level of calories, uh, the initial increase in weight that comes from the digestive food, the water, the glycogen, all that stuff. And then I'll enter into a 12 week muscle building phase so the first one was a 16 week muscle building phase. This will be a 12 week muscle building phase. Really looking forward to seeing the difference between those two. Um, do I kind of hit a point of diminishing returns after three months or do I need that extra fourth month in order to really push the muscle gain? So really looking forward to learning from that experience. That's what this is really all about. I've been reflecting on this past 12 months and, and constantly learning, constantly growing. So that's going to take me into around mid May. And then so right around May 14th, May 15th, going to enter into a six week fat loss phase, once again, to burn off the excess fat that I gained during the muscle building phase, that's going to end on June 25th. So I will be crazy ripped for the summer, really looking forward to that. And something that I've learned from past experiences. So past few years, what I have done is gotten ripped for the summer and then entered into a muscle building phase, allowed myself to gain a little bit too much fat during the summer, relax a little bit too much on the diet. And what I found is that at the beginning of the summer, I was taking my shirt off all the time. End of the summer, I was covering myself up. So I don't want that to happen. Uh, I'm really happy with how things went this summer where I finished the summer in better shape than I was at the beginning of summer. But at the same time, dieting during the summer isn't all that fun. So learning from both experiences, what I'm gonna do, end that cut on June 25th, then on June 26th, I'm going to enter into a maintenance phase. Um, this is kind of a lean gains maintenance phase. Uh, and that's gonna last 10 weeks, bringing me right up to September 3rd. And the goal is to eat around maintenance level calories there enjoying the summer. It's not gonna be linear maintenance level calories. There are gonna be some days where my calories are higher, whether it's a, a, an event, a family gathering, a vacation. Uh, those days, I'm gonna allow myself to indulge a bit and then kind of counteract that with lower uh, calorie days, just to overall, it's gonna be maintenance level calories. So 
it, with that kind of setup, there is the potential for some lean muscle gains, but it's going to be minimal, if anything at all. Um, basically using that as an opportunity to get my body used to this new set point, to really hold on to that extra two pounds of lean muscle tissue that I gained, and realize that this is my new standard that I can build upon for the following year. Now, there's a few reasons why I highly recommend that uh, you follow a similar approach, that you take the time to create your 12-month system. And I hope you're finding some <clears throat> value in this discussion, the insights that I'm sharing here, uh, that you can apply to your own uh, plan as well. Uh, number one reason is accountability. Um, basically, I have found that this year, I was a little bit haphazard with my fat loss goal. I really never fully committed until summer began and um, by that time I kind of wasted a couple of months that could have been used for muscle building or I could have got that fat loss done uh, a, a heck of a lot sooner so by setting these time frames in stone it really holds me accountable to achieving that goal in the allotted time because I have a new goal to achieve shortly after that I really I find it's really important to have things broken down into these phases and to really hold myself to it the other reason is that it's going to keep me keep my fat loss, keep my fat gain in check during the muscle building phases. Only allowing myself um, six weeks in a fat loss phase really means that I cannot let my fat gain get out of control uh, during a during the muscle building phase. I got to keep that in check. Um, so that's that's a big plus that's going to come from. Another reason for doing something like this is is that it really I find it it resensitizes you to both the muscle building and the fat loss process. So muscle building, this is where I'm gonna be really interested to see what my experience is with the, uh, between the 12 weeks and the 16 week uh, muscle building phase because you do reach a point of diminishing returns. And part of that is your body just adapting to the muscle building process. And the other part is the hormonal um, response that's going on. As you're gaining fat, depending on how lean you are, like I'm planning on being pretty damn lean at the start of this muscle building phase and every muscle building phase from here on out. Uh, when you're really lean, your body, the weight that you gain initially is, is a greater percentage of it is gonna come from lean muscle tissue and a less lower percentage of it coming from fat gain. The higher your body fat starts to creep up, the greater percentage is gonna come from fat gain, especially once you get around that 15% body fat threshold. Uh, at that point, really, a good chunk of that is going to be coming from fat gain. So there's no point on pushing uh, the muscle building process any further because you're just reaching that point of diminishing returns. So entering into a six week fat loss phase really resensitizes your body to building muscle. Same thing with burning fat. You get through that fat burning phase and um, going into muscle building phase. So as your fat loss, your metabolism starts to slow down a little bit um, because you're losing weight not just because you're eating less or anything, you will experience a bit of a, a slowdown in metabolism. It's expected. Uh, going through muscle building phase just cranks her right back up there, resensitizes you to the fat loss process once you get going again. Another reason is to is the focus that comes from it. I find so many people, uh, man, it's so easy to get wrapped up in the idea of building muscle and burning fat at the same time. And although it's achievable, uh, can be achieved, especially for the newbie lifters, it's not ideal. So by breaking it down into phases, it really allows me to, the opportunity to focus on a single goal at a time. And I got this wasp buzzing right around me here. Um, so focus is, is a big reason there. Um, another reason is just plain old aesthetics. That's good. This type of goal, this type of system in place, is really gonna have me looking good all year long. I'm gonna look, go from lean during the muscle building phases to ripped during the fat loss phases. So really kind of being congruent with my standards, um, my vision, my beliefs, all that kind of stuff. Um, another reason is it's just freaking fun. <laughs> it's absolutely fun to have this kind of variety in your planning. Um, to go from phase to phase, having different goals, different challenges, different obstacles to overcome and to celebrate. So lots of fun that comes with that. And I'd say probably one more reason is it, I say the number one reason is that I'll be spending more time in a muscle building phase. I'll be spending three quarters of the year 
building muscle and only one quarter of it in fat loss. And that's going to be a dramatic difference compared to years past for me. So really excited to see how my body responds to this 12 month system. And uh, I really look forward to sharing this, uh, this journey with you and, and having you get to see uh, how my body responds to it. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I'll be sharing lots of insights along the way. Once again, thanks for sharing this journey with me. Catch you tomorrow.